morning, everyone, and welcome to Stamp and Chat Live. Excuse me. I am Gina from Gina K Designs, and it's great to see all of you coming in from all over the USA and around the world. Tonight, it is Valentine's Day, so let me just take a moment to extend a very happy Valentine's Day to all of you. Valentine's Day can represent all kinds of love, friendship, and more. So I hope whatever you're doing tonight, wherever you are in the world, that you are feeling lots of love. And uh, we love you. We are so glad that you're here with us tonight. So tonight, Tom and I are planning to do a little stamping together for Valentine's Day. We purposely did not give each other a card for Valentine's Day because this is going to be the card. So let's just say hello to Tom because he's behind the controls. Hey, Tom. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> How are you? I'm great. This is uh, this is going to be nuts. I know. Well, part of the reason why it's going to be nuts is because you are usually behind the controls. You're taking care of trolls. You're monitoring comments. And you're going to be back here with me in just a few minutes. And uh, there'll be just it's just going to be mayhem. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, it's going to be nuts. I don't expect anything else. So um, if there is a troll, every once in a while we get somebody, if you guys know what trolls are, right? Every once in a while, somebody will come in and make some weird comment. They're not here for the crafting. They're here to make a statement or something. And Tom usually just deletes them and blocks them. So if that happens, um, he'll just run back and he'll go and do it. And then he'll come back around here again. So we'll make it all work somehow. And um, of course, during most of the live tonight, we're going to be on overhead so that you can see what Tom and I are doing. Now, what we're going to do tonight is my friend Simon Hurley just came out with a brand new stamping foam product. Now, if you remember a few months ago, Simon and I did a live video together where he joined us in the show and we made cards using his stamping foam and I love his stamping foam so much. It is so much fun to play with. And we did cards using dies and stamps. And um, I even used a basket to get some texture. And I can link that video in the description of this video. So if you want to go back and watch more stamping foam uh, techniques, you can watch that video from Simon and I. Um, but tonight, Simon came out, well, not tonight, but Simon just came out with this new heart stamping foam. And so that's what Tom and I are going to play with tonight. We're going to play with this. This is really cool. It's a big block. It comes in a two pack and it's got a heart in the center that's removable. So you can either use the heart or you can use the outside of the heart. And so Tom's going to pick what he wants to work with and whatever he doesn't want to work with, I'll work with what's left over. So that's kind of a plan tonight. And um, before Tom comes over, I'm just going to give you a brief refresher on how the stamping foam works. And that's going to give Tom a little uh, refresher on how it works too, so that when he comes over here, he'll know kind of what he's doing. Are you okay with that, Tom? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, we were we were going to prepare all week, weren't we? <laughs> Where are and you? Yeah. Come into the scene. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were going to, uh, <clears throat> I was going to practice all week uh, last week, right? Yeah, he was going to practice. And then, you know, Tom got away from us and he didn't make one thing. So Tom <laughs> hasn't even stood behind this table yet. So it's good. That'll just make it more fun and more funny. And as I promised all of you, I'm not going to tell him what to do unless he asks. I'm not going to I'm not going to advise. I'm not going to suggest. I'm going to just let him do his thing unless he asks. And maybe he won't even ask me. Maybe he'll ask you guys and you can give opinions. Now, one of the other things that you guys have to know is that when Tom's not behind the um, the camera back there, he's the one that scrolls the comments so that I can see them and the comments will just stop scrolling. But I have my phone here and I'm watching Facebook comments and Tom is going to have his phone and he'll be watching YouTube comments. So when you ask, when we ask questions and stuff, we'll have to stop and monitor a little bit to see what you guys are saying. Cause normally they just come right up on the screen right in front of me and they will stop doing that. All right. So let's, let's do a little refresher here. All right. So this here, We'll go to the overhead. This is the um, stamping foam. And let me zoom in a little bit. We zoomed out because we know that we're going to need to zoom out a little bit so you can see both of us. 
But this is the amazing stamping foam. And you know, Simon Hurley is a genius. This stuff is so much fun. You get four blocks in your pack, which is really great because if you like a design, you can keep that design and keep using it, or you can heat it out and start over. And I love that there's four different blocks in here because sometimes you're making one and then you want to try something else and then you want to go back to that first one and you may have gotten the perfect impression so you don't have to let it go. Let me get a little piece of cardstock here. Give me a sec. I just want to have something under here. Okay, so I just want to show you how this works. So last time Simon and I were together, I even made an impression of this basket. I just took the stamping foam right onto the basket, got this impression, and um, made a really fun background with that. And then we also showed you how to use rubber stamps to get a background. And we showed you how to do it with dies and how to do it with like single stamps and single dies. So I ended up look, uh, using three dies, three snowflake dies, and that worked out really well for my card. And Simon used some of his, um, I think they're like hot foil um, dies. Is that right, Simon? I know you're in here. I, saw, I see everybody saying hi to you. So hi, Simon. Um, and that was really fun. But I do want to show you two other things that you can do with it that maybe I didn't show you. And one of them I didn't show you because I didn't have it yet. So here is one of our die plates. And these are so much fun. I have everything gray in front of me. Let me pick a different color here. It's Valentine's Day. Let me have some pink. There we go. Okay, so these die plates work really, really nicely with the stamping foam. So basically what you do, it's a super simple technique. Yes, we do have some of the heart-shaped foam on our website in the what's new category, and we'll get more. We don't have that much. We were only able to get two cases right off the bat, so we'll try to get some more in. But all of your local stores have it, and all of the big box stores, and all of the big online stores have it. Everybody has Simon Hurley stamping foam. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your heat tool, and you're going to heat up the stamping foam. Now we talked about how long to do this and really it's just a few minutes. You don't need to do it for a really long time. But you wanna get that nice and warm so that you can put a nice impression in there. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then I'm going to use this die plate. So I'm going to just press it down onto the die plate. Now, Simon recommended using a block for pressure. And you can also tape the stamping foam to the block when you use it as a stamp. So I'm just getting some pressure on here. Excuse my head getting in the way and everything else. Well, thank you. Somebody said my hair looks nice. You know, my hair is kind of flat right now. Um, I have a hair appointment with my wonderful hairstylist, Rena, and uh, I'll be getting my hair done on Thursday. I'm thinking about getting it trimmed a little bit, like to my shoulder. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So now you can see that there is an impression in there. Can they see that okay, Tom? Yes. Okay. Very good. So I'm going to just leave this on here. You can tape it on here with like purple tape. This is some of the old style purple tape. You know, you can do something like that. If you want to attach it, that will work. Washi tape will work. Let me rip that off. Okay. And also, if you don't want to do it this way, let's do it another way. You, there's no pressure to stamp with that right away. I'll show you another way to do it that works really well. You could just take some purple tape or painter's tape, something like that, and you can just roll it into a circle and put it on there and then put your block right on there. Okay, and that will hold it in place and make it like a stamp. So I'm just gonna grab a piece of white cardstock here and then I'm gonna take, let's see, I got my ink cubes here. So I don't have all the colors, but I have a lot of colors. 
I know, I don't have all the colors. Why? Why don't I have all the color colors? I'm going to do some pink and some purple and maybe some red on this one. Okay. So all you have to do is take your ink and you can do this with a pad or with a cube and you can just rub that color on there. So kind of in a like a circular motion works really well. I might not use the red. I might just go pink and purple with this. So you see I'm kind of doing like little at the top, little at the bottom corner and then coming in there. And then I'm gonna go in with my darker color which is my wild lilac here. And I'm going to add some of that in here in those empty spots. Okay. Now I have the Tim Holtz Distress Sprayer. Yep, I bought a new one. It's not yellow anymore. And I'm going to give this a very fine mist of water. Now I'm not going to do that um, right here so I get everything wet. So maybe you want to go to the front shot, Tom, for just a second. So I'm just going to hold it up, and from about this distance, I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray, like that. Okay, now I can go back. So now I'm going to turn this upside down, and I'm going to stamp it right onto my paper. I want to put some good pressure on that. Okay. All righty. Uh, you do not have to spray it, Stacy. I made one earlier. I'll show you that I did not spray. But look at that. Isn't that so pretty? You get all that texture in there. I love that. And, you know, you can spray it a second time and get a lighter impression. So I'm going to just give it another spray here. This one's going to be more watercolory because I really sprayed it. But isn't that one pretty? much softer look. So, you know, you can get a more crisp look by just a light mist, or if you don't want to spray it at all, here's one that I did using a striped design. I didn't spray it at all. So it's not necessary to spray it, but spraying it kind of blends the colors together a little bit more, and it gives you some different looks. So if you want a more watercolored look, you know, give it a lot of water. If you want a simple, just a little bit of blending, you know, go with just the light spray. All right. Yeah, I can't control, you know, some sometimes I freeze up just for certain people, depending on your area, if there's a lot of people on the internet in your area. Um, we always monitor it and I'm monitoring it here and I don't see any freezing up. So you could try going out and coming back in. Or if you're watching on Facebook, try heading over to YouTube or Twitch. Or, you know, if you're on one of those other ones, try heading over to Facebook because it kind of all depends on what's going on in your area too. Okay, so I just cleaned that, cleaned it enough. That's not really going to transfer. That's just water. And then to get rid of the design, you just take your heat tool and you heat it up again. And the design just magically disappears and it's ready for your next design. So I'm going to show you two, well, one more quick thing, two more quick things, and then we'll get Tom over here and we will start making our cards. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep heating this because I'm going to, I want to show you something else that's really fun to use. Okay, let me grab it because it's hiding and I'm not going to get it out in time. Okay. So I had to play with my score buddy. I wanted a nice striped pattern. Yes, the lattice one would be beautiful, absolutely. So I'm just heating this up nicely. And then I'm going to stamp this right onto my score buddy. Give it a little extra pressure. Probably use your Chucky tool too, if you want for pressure. And I always make it a point to press down a little bit toward the front and the back and then to the left and to the right, because I tend to put most of my pressure in the center of the block and sometimes my design will fade out around the edges. 
So this is a nice little striped pattern. And this is the one that I did here. And I'll show it to you again with no water. I just used powder blue on that one. But let me use some honey mustard on this one. So again, I'm just kind of rubbing that color on there. And I'm using a big pad this time because I'm just going to go with straight color. Okay. And then I'm going to place that down. I'm going to stick this. Ah! Oh! Let's flip it over. Do it again. Oh, I can't. I'll get a new piece of cardstock. But you can see it already started to transfer. So you don't need the water if you don't want to use the water. I really should keep it on this block. I forget how high it is. It's up pretty high. There we go. Okay. And I like to press it in the top and bottom and then just side to side a little bit. That just gets a really good impression. So you can see that is such a nice, simple background for maybe a floral design or a more masculine card if you want something like that. Okay, well, we do sell the stamping foam in our store now. I'm so excited to have it because Simon's such a good friend of mine and I, you know, really, really wanted to support his brand. So um, we have his foam and... But again, you know, I'm sure it's going to sell out rather quickly. We will order more, but check check all the stores, you know, your local stores. Definitely support your local stores. Check the big stores like Simon Says Stamp. Um, I don't know, Simon, is it any of, in any of the big box stores like Joann's or Michael's? I don't know how that works. So, or Hobby Lobby. But, I mean, you can get it online tonight somewhere because so many people have it. So I'm just going to undo this one more time. And then I want to show you one more look. I can find what I did with that one thing. Let me just grab one out of here. Okay. So this is an old Darius embossing folder. And I love embossing folders. There's two sides. So Whenever you have an embossing folder, you have one side where the impression is kind of sunk in and one side where the impression kind of sticks out more. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the side where the impression sticks out. And I want to show you how pretty this is. So I'm just heating this up and getting rid of those stripes. And once all the stripes are gone, it's going to be hot enough for my impression. In my other video, I used a stencil and that worked. But let's go ahead and get an impression here of this. Yeah, you'll be able to find it in lots of places. I'm doing the heart next, hang in there. <laughs> That's for Tom and I to do together. This is just the quick abridged refresher on how to use it. Look at that, isn't that so pretty? That is so pretty. All right, so let me get Ooh, I'm going to try it with stormy sky, like a nice gray, and see how that looks. Okay. So we'll do that. A little stormy sky on there. This would be a beautiful card. I could see this being a sympathy card for sure. And it gives you such a cool batik kind of look about it, too. I am going to spritz this one. Okay. Alrighty. There we go. All right. Oh, isn't that so pretty? I love all the depth you get out of that. Isn't that amazing? And I'm just taking a paper towel, a little bit of my glass cleaner. You can also use the tidy towel, but I just totally made mine so dirty. And I'm going to clean it up. Okay. So there, I know, isn't that nice? It's just so delightful. So that's an embossing folder. So die plates, embossing folders, baskets. Simon did the back of his chair at home. He had like a rattan chair. He used that. Anything that you see a texture, you're going to look all over your house and you're going to see things that all of a sudden... Furniture is going to be a stamping tool. 
stencils work. Um, yeah, you can get some cool things. All right, Tom. So what do you think? Do you think you can come over and we can talk about this heart stuff? All right. Let's have at it. Okay. So the heart stamping foam is super cool. I absolutely love it. It's brilliant because... Um, well, I wash them too after I'm all done. I just give them a little bath in the sink. So this is just brilliant because it's got this big block here, right? And then you can press this out. Look, you get a, an innie and an outie. <laughs> it's like belly buttons here, Tom. So, um, I think Tom's coming back over here. Hello. How are you? I'm ready to go. All right. So which one of these would you like to work with? Would you like to work with the inside or the in you want to work with the inside? Okay. All right. So everybody welcome Tom's hands into the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So you get two of these too, which again, I think it's really cool that you get two because we're going to come up with some things and we might want to stick with them and use them again and again. So we might not want to make it disappear. Okay, Tom. Now I promised everybody that I would not help. So I'm not going to help, but I do have to ask you, what would you like to use? You can okay. use anything you want. You can use stamps. You can use die plates. You can use... So um, we're doing a panel. Yep. Yep. Everybody's saying hi, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Let's see here. Okay. So that and and then this is going to go on a base, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to die cut mine. So, you know, once I cut it because oh, these aren't the really cut size. yeah they're not really cut yet oh. but i'm thinking that your heart would fit on this block so maybe you could you want to tape that onto your block okay so so that's but that's the size I, i'm going to stamp on right that's the size you're going to stamp on yeah and then we can cut them out later with either a paper cutter or a die cutting machine whatever you want to do cut out from here mm-hmm Okay. You know, like I'm going to cut mine out with one of the master layouts. Okay. I think. All right. This is called working without <laughs> a net. <Yeah. laughs> Have you thought about colors? I mean, it's Valentine's Day. You're going to. I would like the brightest. Let's see. Let's do the brightest pink. Oh, that's that, that passionate pink is the brightest one. I want that one. Okay, and there's um, purple and red here, too. So just think a second here. <laughs> and then I want a very bright, something like that. Cool. And a black. Black. Okay. Do you have? This is black. That's the one. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so that I'm going to start with. You're good with that? And okay. I can do more than one color on the heart, right? Absolutely. Oh. Absolutely. So even though this is a Valentine's Day card, I should probably use similar colors. I'm going to use purple for you. And then can I use pink? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to use pink. And then I'm going to use... Hmm, should I use wild wisteria? I could do purples. So, so am I telling you what to do in this? No, I'm just asking. Okay. Look, I'm making you a card, so I want to know what you like. Uh -huh. I don't know what you like. I mean, I kind of know, but okay. So now the first thing that you're going to do, and I'm not telling you how, like, what to do. I'm just telling you the procedure. You pick what you want. What are you gonna? What design are you going to put on that? Oh, let's see. Um, well, there are a few things laying around here. How about if we do um, one of these? Okay, that's great. So Tom's going to use the Petite Flourish Rubber Background Stamp. It is kind of dainty. <laughs> well, you're giving it to me, so I kind of like your idea. All right. <laughs> I think that's good. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. So then you just want to have your stamp close by. Yep. 
And then you're going to heat up that heart with the heat tool. All right, power tools. This should feel comfortable. <laughs> you really want to get it nice and warm. Don't, don't let it bubble, though. No, don't let it bubble. <laughs> The Incube tray, Erica, that is from OrganizeMore.com. I love their um, some of their storage products. OrganizeMore.com has the Incube tray that I love. All right. Is that done? You get it in the middle and all, too? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. So now you're just going to pick that up, and you're going to press it into the rubber stamp. Nice and hard. There we go. <laughs> just really hard, like yeah. keep pressing? Yeah. And you might want to just like put a little pressure around the edges, especially this part that's hanging off the block a little, you know, just to really get the design in there. I mean, you don't have to press like, like your uh, truck riding over it. It works really well without being too strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Stephanie, your husband is playing guitar for you. That's nice. Her husband is picking up for maybe maybe <laughs> we could bring him into the live. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that should be good. You should have a good impression on there. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yeah. So you can see where it's a little bit lighter here than over here. Mm -hmm. it's not, but I think that'll be all right. I still think you're gonna get the the design, yeah. Okay, so now all you have to do is ink that up any way you want, spritz it with water, and stamp it on your card. Now me, what am I going to do? All right, so have at it. Have at it. All right, I'm going to pick another stamp, so I have to go over here. Since I'm making a, a card for Tom, I'm going to use our music note background. What do you think of that? Somebody didn't like this music note background because they couldn't play it. They bought it and they couldn't play it. Aww. And I said, well, even if it was something real, I couldn't play it. So, <laughs> all right, I'm going to have you move over just a little so I can get in here too. So I'm going to, I tape this down on the top and the bottom here. What is the storage that you use for embellishments? Oh, it's, it's, oh, it's Elizabeth something. And it was an Amazon thing. Um, I'll look for that. And I will definitely um, have the answer for you on Wednesdays live, okay? I should probably just put that on the Things I Love page. I'll do that. All right, so I'm heating up this whole background. And I definitely want get, to get it good close to where the heart is here. This is big, Simon. This is big stamping foam. I love it. It's great. Oh, look at you. This is kind of like a char grilled. <laughs> oh, you put some black on there? That's cool. Are you going to spray it first or no? I'll spray it first. Okay. Just don't spray it near me. Okay. I'm spraying off to the side. Okay. I think that's good. I overheat. I don't like literally overheat. Okay. I just want to make sure this is straight. And you really press it when you're. Yeah. Okay. And how long do you hold it down for? Um, Not too long. That's that should good. be good. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. I love the design. That is so cool. So the heart, I don't have a ruler here, but I know that. Let's see. I've got to find something that I know what size it is to measure how big the heart is. How big do you think that heart is, Tom? Oh, gosh. I know. I don't have a ruler. Oh, we have this. We have the score buddy or this. Let's measure it, measure it on here about how big it is on there. So it looks like three and a half inches. It's probably on the packaging. Three and a quarter. Oh, it is on the packaging. Here, read the, read the packaging. Adult use only. <laughs> okay. Uh, three and a half. Uh, let's see. Removal heart measuring three oh, and a half by cool. three and one, two, five. 
one two five is one eighth. One eighth, yeah. So how big is it? Three and a half. Three and a half by three and an eighth. Yeah, and then so the big size is four is... and a half by five and three quarters. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do mine now and I'm going to use purples. <laughs> oh, Tom, they want a word of the day too. Word of the day. Okay. So I don't have a word of the day, but I have one of those. Um, Wrong words. One of those those processes that you uh, make it more efficient, like, um, okay, so if you have, if you scratch your skin, you have an injury to your skin. You yeah. Have a skin injury, so you have a skin injury. <laughs> if if a small child is playing in the uh, playground and was on one of those merry-go-round things and slides off and gets hurt. That's a spingery. <laughs> oh, no. You mean it's more that they go on? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, it, you can go on from there if you, you know, when I was young and I came home night and um, couldn't account to my father on where I was for the last eight hours. Um, I was very close to getting a where the heck have you been jury. <laughs> and if oh if no, you're, <laughs> no, <laughs> if you're on a day cruise on the Mississippi and you get hurt, that would be a huckleberry fin <laughs> oh Should I keep going? No, uh, I think you should make a okay. card. <laughs> All right. so. so the colors I used were wild lilac and powder blue. Oh my gosh. He's on a roll. You're right. He's on a roll. Okay. And I used the music note one. So, oh, look at that. Yes. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. I'm going to just dry mine a little bit. What are you doing now? Just asking, I'm not judging. <laughs> not yet. Oh, that's really pretty. I love having the opening there. So I'm going to put something in this opening, obviously. And I think I might do, because this stamp set was sitting out because I was using it for something else. And I know a lot of you have wild blossoms. And I think that would be really pretty coming up into this heart wild blossoms and then maybe having the words below so let's see how small i can trim this down i was thinking about using my um my master layout so i might still do that but i don't know maybe i will let me get those dies master i think master layouts one would work Skindry. a skinjury great, hon. It's really great. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to cut that right there using the die cutting machine. So I have to uh, allow to for this to be cut even further? Well. Oh, okay. Yeah, it'll work if you do it. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just making sure they all know that you don't have to. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All right, so I'm using the Spellbinders machine here. I love my new Spellbinders machine. It's so pretty. And I'm going to cut this out. Using the Master Layouts 1 die set. I'm just going to center it. I feel like it's easier to cut it out with the die set than to, you know, try to cut it with a paper cutter because then you can center it right you can make sure it's straight okay that looks pretty good okay i love the kind of um distressed look you get from the ink sometimes when you do the water bottle thing with it oh it's so pretty isn't it oh i love it <laughs> bingery <laughs> 
Oh, they're all adding their words, Tom. Bingery. That's when you're up all night watching TV shows and you don't feel well. And you eat too much popcorn or have a few too many fruit salads. Oh, I got this all caught together. Okay. Apparently, I've had too many fruit salads and I haven't even had one yet. I'm going to cut this out. This is the second die from the Master Layouts one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm just reading your comments, too. That's why I have to stop, because there's like 27,000 comments that I missed. It's great to have you all here. I've got about 2,400 people. That's a swim jury. <laughs> I know Tom's does look dimensional already. You're right, Donna. It's got a lot of dimension there. Ooh, I like what you're doing. You're using my color. All right, so I'm going to pop that together like that. Okay. I don't know where I'm going with mine either, so we're going to have to bring this die cutting machine back out again, I'm sure. But I want to get something stamped in there, and I feel like uh, the, the botanical look of... Um, of wild blossoms will work. I'm sorry, I have to reach, pardon my reach. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm all over you here, sorry. Hey, that's what <laughs> Valentine's Day is all about. <laughs> oh. Drink a bottle of wine, <laughs> do the job, right? <laughs> Instead. <laughs> Okay, so if I put that there, that would be kind of nice. You'll still see a little bit of the heart. Maybe I could even put a little bit of sun in the heart coming down that way. Ooh, should I try that? Should I try that? I'm going to try that. I don't know if it'll work, but I feel like it could. Like Is if anybody I had... still watching? Yeah, they are actually, <laughs> they are. So if I just added a little bit of sun rays right in here. Okay, I don't know if I can do this, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm mixing purple and yellow. Oh gosh, help me. <laughs> we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow in here to make some sun rays. And then I'm just coming down like this. Oh, cool. that looks good. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I wanna emboss something. You do? Yeah. Okay. So I need the uh, Versa Mark, right? Yep. So that's up on the ink thing on that one way over there. I'm going to use a little more orange in this. Did you find it? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to put a little sweet mango in this so you can see this a little bit better. This is really winging it. You have to, you have to admit, I'm not, I'm not paying any attention to Tom. <laughs> I know. That's, Just another day. That's my... That's my present to you on Valentine's Day. <laughs> a little orange in there. All right. Where's the uh, tidy towel? There we go. Not you. Okay. So now we have a little sunshine coming in. Look at that. <laughs> oh, okay. This is a very um, whimsical card for me. Very distressed looking and whimsical, but I kind of like it. I'm having fun with it. So does the verse mark have to be wet to pour the uh, stuff on it? The embossing powder? Does verse mark have to be wet? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so I want to have the embossing powder lined up. What color do you want? I want... We have white and white. <laughs> What does that mean? <laughs> I don't have a lot of colors here. <laughs> you have white, silver. Gold. Oh, yeah, I do have white and silver and gold. That's right. Okay. White, silver, gold. I 
think there's black in there, but I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to do this with some black ink. Oh, I can't get ink on Tom's thing. You know, I'm a little worried about this moving. Just a little worried. So I'm going to do the little roll of purple tape under there. just to keep it in place. Okay, and where are the other things to uh, be able to pour this? You need that, right? And then you need like a card base. I had another card base somewhere that I was using, but I think I threw it away. Would this work for you? Would that work? Okay. Okay. They're explaining to you what to do. Take Dust the score buddy. Yep. The dust bag. Score buddy? I mean, the, uh, not the score buddy, the magic. Somebody called it something. Oh, the embossing buddy. Okay. Yeah, the embossing magic. So I'm ready to stamp. I think the embossing buddy is the stamping up one. Okay. I'm scared. Oh, look at that. This is very, very whimsical for me. I think I'll get all the art journalers to follow me if I post this card. Because <laughs> this is, you know, I'm, my cards are usually very clean and simple. Probably more simple than anything. <laughs> but I like this. Oh, it's so fun. It's got music. It's got weeds. It's got <laughs> sunshine. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm in your way. No, I'm just... Love that you're embossing. I'm trying something, but we'll see. Oh, I love that. It's showing through. It won't when you emboss it. Okay. Okay. I wanted a heart within a heart. Aw. So we'll see. And then I've got to fire up this baby. I'm going to help you just clean up. I'm not judging. <laughs> Tom put the embossing powder in my dust bag. <laughs> now I've got a dust bag in there, but that's all right. Let's see. Okay, so, yeah, there you go. Make sure they can see it. It's beautiful. That is beautiful. Okay, thank you. You can't hand it to me that way. It's hot. <laughs> I didn't. Oh, I handed it. Uh, here we go. Wheels are coming off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. I love the heart that it's just in there. Just love that. Simon, I love this stuff. You guys got to get this heart stuff right away. Okay, so I'm going to do one of the words on here. Yes. Okay. I need a bigger block. You need the big block? Just one for that. Yeah. Oh, I need one of those kind of blocks. Will that fit? Perfect. Well, it might. That, yep. Yeah, all of it? Mm. So, you know, I always have to put black behind my card gonna do something else with the heart too this i'll tell you right now i'm not done with the simon hurley uh stamping foam i'm probably going to use this for my five minute card video this week because i'm going to do a really simple card with it they're telling you you're a champion tom wow i know I'm going to move you up just a little bit so I can zoom in a little so they can see a little closer what's going so on. So should I be using the Misty for this? Oh. Um, Am I good enough to get well, it on the I think shot? you're good enough. Yeah, I think All you're right. good enough. Here's where the wheels come off. <laughs> Kathy was laughing that you, he put, that you put the embossing <laughs> powder in the thing. <laughs> 
Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Oh, my heart. It's beautiful. All right. Okay. So I'm going to use Love You So Much down here. I'm going to use one of these little strip sentiments, I think. And I think I'm going to use the big love. I might do that and then put you so much right across the love. Let's see how that works. Oh, the other thing I could use. Let me sneak around you here. This set by Beth Saleka I really like too. And I could just do a big like, you're my everything down here. Should I do that instead? You're my everything. What do you guys think? You're my everything or... Should I do the big love word? Should I die cut it? They're more interested in what you're doing, I think. And I don't blame them. Look at you. Old pro here. And not too old. <laughs> Just the right amount of old. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to... I'm gonna cut the love and shadow. How's it feel to share the space up here? Uh, it feels fantastic. You're gonna have to sage this. If, no, after I'm, I'm not gonna here. sage it. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, you want me to use Beth stamp? I can do that. I can use Beth's stamp. I feel like I need to do something right here, though. I think I'm going to do a little black strip going across. And then I will use Beth's stamp. I'm going to stamp. Okay. So I'm going to cut a little tiny thin strip. And the way I like to do that is I take a regular measurement. Like I could go to the four inch mark here. And then if I just want to do an eighth of an inch, I can just scoot it down one eighth of an inch. And that'll give me a skinny one eighth of an inch strip. <laughs> People are laughing at your saging comment. And then I think if I put that like right across there, it just kind of finishes that off. And then I'll put the words down here. All right. What die are we using to cut this out? Um, so I used the Master Layouts 1. You might want to because yours is a little big. Um, that might be the better one to use. So I'm going to cut this down to three and three quarters of an inch. So I've got a lot of space down there. Maybe I should emboss in an ocean scene. <laughs> you could. <laughs> I'm not telling you what to do. <laughs> not going to get yelled at by your fans. All right. Well, we'll have to. They like what you do. They love you. All right, I'm going to use a um, little bit of tape here for this. I'm going to test something. You're going to test something? Can I use one of these to test something? Sure. So now I've got that little strip going across, and that kind of finishes that off, and now I can get my greeting under there. They say stamp more hearts, but I didn't say that. They said it. <laughs> Okay. Hmm. And then I'm going to add my greeting here in black right underneath. This is such an artsy card for me, but I like it. And I think you're my everything because you are, Tom. You're my everything. You're all... Okay, I know my head's in the way, but I am just trying to see this. It's not easy to see when you're trying to do it sideways. 
I might have to just move this for a second. So um, one of the people suggested that you use the square master layouts. That's another option. Or I could just heart the heck out of this. You could. You could heart the heck out of it. That's a good idea, too. All right. Okay. So I'm going to, do you mind if I, while you're looking for colors, if I just get in here for one second? Go, baby. Okay. I'm going to, um, I'm going to stamp this with black ink. This was really fun to do. I could really get into this style. You know, I did the card with old books and stuff. I could really get into this whole um, kind of more art journal-y, rustic, little distressed look. Okay, so there we go. You are my everything. All right, now I'll get out of your way so you can get back here. Do you need the Misty anymore? I don't think so. Okay. And then I'm going to put this on a white card base. You want to come in? Come on in. <laughs> oh, I like that you're going you're going off the paper. That's good. I like that. That makes it look more like pattern paper. Here, I'll give you this to stamp on so you don't have to stamp on the mat. There we go. That was a super fun card to make. Here we go. All right, Tom. So I'm going to look through the comments here. You need to use a page out of the cowboy book again for your phone. <laughs> I do. I hope Tom's not reading all these suggestions. He's not. He's not because he's, he's, so, he's so busy right now. Okay. Oh, such nice comments. <laughs> I don't know if you guys, I know you guys can't see comments from all the different platforms, but uh, there are some funny comments coming in from Facebook and YouTube. I want to I wanna just play with this heart stuff one more time while you're doing that. I'm going to definitely, for my five-minute card video, I'm going to use this heart, and I'm going to do like a rainbow thing or something, and yeah, I'm going to do that for my five-minute card video this week. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's the sound it makes when you clean it. <laughs> I heard it over there in the headphones. It just jumped out. <laughs> Oh, so where are we at? You need to die cut? I think so. Okay. So we'll get the die cutting machine. Here you go. Are you going to line it with black too? Of course. Okay. I'd probably get thrown out of here. Baby. Yeah. So you want to make sure you have the bigger, the smaller of the two dies. Yep. Okay. There we go. I want to make a card out of this too. I have to make a card out of this one. So this is the bottom plate? Yep. Right. If you want to pull it out just a little bit, it'll give you room to put the plate on top. Do you want to tape it down or are you good? I think it might be okay. 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 I gotta push. You gotta push, yeah. Go ahead, push it through. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, so satisfying. Okay, and then 
here's your other piece that you're going to use with that other die. You're going to cut that black piece with that other one. I'm not telling them what to do. <laughs> oh, this is technical stuff. <laughs> this is all technical, exactly. And there's your other plate. And I do have a card base ready for you, believe it or not. I made one. Okay. Tom is killing it. You're right, Lori. He's killing it. Killing Everybody's something. loving your card. Killing something here. <laughs> okay, I'll get this out of your way. And then... Here's your card base. Unless you want a color. I think the color might be. Color might be better? What color? What color? What color? Let's ask them. Let's ask the gallery what color. Yeah, what color do you think Tom there... should, should do for a card base? Hmm. So what age bracket would you put this work in? <laughs> well, why don't you tape those two together? Toddler. <laughs> no, not toddler. That's an insult to the toddler. I'll tell you, it doesn't it doesn't come out like it looks in your mind, that's for sure. Well, that's what do you think of this color for a card base? It'll bring out some of those pinks. Yes, I like that. All right. I'll cut that for you while you take those two layers together. <laughs> I'm kind of missing the dead space. <laughs> You're missing it over there. <laughs> oh my Good gosh. old dead space. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, when you first start card making, you definitely... Oh, I have to do the rip up here. Oh, no. You that's... do? Yeah, that's pretty... <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I'm, how am I going to make up for this? I'm going to need a jet idling in the parking lot out there <laughs> to the Maldives. <laughs> no, I love the card. I'm excited to get that card. You have to sign it. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Would you like me to help for this part? Just No. No? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're getting a Tom original here. Okay. As hideous as that may be. <laughs> it's perfect. It's beautiful. Don't say that. It's, I love it. It's my card. It's going to hang in my office. All right. Thinking about hanging in my office. <laughs> okay. Mary said the dead space sounds rather gruesome for <laughs> Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, I'm not helping. I'm just helping a little. <laughs> okay. For, for, um, for a special gift to everyone out there, I'm going to keep this card. We're not giving it away. <laughs> oh, somebody's going to want that. I'm telling you, somebody's going to want that card. I don't think we should give these away. Look at that. Yeah, well, well, what do you think? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Great fun. Yeah. <laughs> I had a great time. I know what cards we could give away because we can't give these away. We've got to give them to each other. Okay. So I know exactly what we can give away. Let's give away. Um, let's give away the ocean card from my five-minute card video. Whoa! We'll give okay. that away, okay? Because we got to give something away. <laughs> well, this was so much fun. All right, so you guys can see we had lots of fun playing with Simon Hurley's stamping foam. And again, I'm going to do a five-minute card video using this um, on Friday. I think Friday will be the day that they usually come out and I'll have a lot of fun with that. Show you some other ways to use it, like a different way to use it where 
Maybe it's not so um, distressed looking, maybe a little bit of a cleaner, clean and simple look to it. So I'll do that on Friday and that'll be a five minute card. So it'll go super fast. But let's take a look one more time at the cards. Tom, I love these. They're super fun. I love your border that you did down here. And I love the way you added the black in there. I never do that, but that is something that I should do. I like the black because it makes the heart pop out more. It's beautiful. Love you so very much. I love the sentiment. Um, and a little gold embossing adds some flair. It's almost like adding rhinestones. For my card, I use the opposite side of the stamping foam. And I used a stencil to bring a little sunshine in, stamped a silhouette over the whole thing, and then added a greeting for Valentine's Day. So let's bring us in, Tom. <laughs> oh, are you glad to be back over in your dead space, hon? Um, well, that's great fun. Did you have fun? Great, great change <laughs> but it's uh it's yeah it's a very that's that's a very intense space over there you can feel it you can feel the mojo <laughs> yeah the energy is uh is is strong over on this side of the room <laughs> that's for sure well, we do want to give a card away, and if you guys didn't get a chance to watch my latest five-minute card video, I made this little ocean scene, a little ocean beachy I love you Valentine's Day card, and uh, we should give this one away tonight, Tom. Okay, easy drum roll. Yeah, let's do a drum roll. All right. Okay. That beachy beach car goes to Joanne Steck. Joanne. Hey, Joanne. Steck. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, Joanne. So you're going to get this card because I get this one and Tom gets this one. You're going to get this one. Send your name and uh, address to info at ginakdesigns.com. And I will send this card out to you. Joanne. Joanne Steck. Didn't have my mic up. Oh. Just in case. Oh, Joanne. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Well, this was a lot of fun. Happy Valentine's Day, honey. Thank you. And happy <laughs> Valentine's Day to you. Thank you. Thanks for letting me join you. Oh, it was so much fun. Thank you. And Simon Hurley, you are a brilliant. I, we probably don't have any stamping foam left. But if we do, I would uh, head over to gdkdesigns.com, click on the what's new category. You can get the heart stamping foam. You can also get the regular stamping foam over there. And uh, you're going to want it because we're, at a, we're really shipping fast right now. And it'll probably come pretty soon. And you'll have it in time for the five minute card video on Friday. All right, everybody. Well, Tom and I will be back on Wednesday for another Crafternoon Live at noon central time. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. We love you all so very much. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.